Okay guys, so this is a 30 by 30 centimeter cube uh, Exoterra. I plan on using this for my Desert Hairy Scorpion. So what I'm going to do is I plan on making like a, kind of like an, an arid kind of rock background, but without using uh, the polystyrene or anything like that. So we're going to go straight in with excavator clay. And I'm going to put it on the back and then I'm going to come down the sides, but I'm going to do the sides separately uh, and I'm not going to do the full side. So I've got a plan for that. But first of all, let's make up enough excavator clay just to do the uh, to do the solid back piece. OK, so I'm going to start with making enough for the solid back before I do the two sides. Um, so <clears throat> the instructions are three cups. Um, per bag, three cups of water, and I've obviously opened this and used it, um, so I've got no idea. Uh, I could weigh the bag, I suppose, but I'm going to eyeball it. Let's see what happens. It's all fun and games, isn't it? What can go wrong? So we're going to pour some in. Tiny bit more water just to make it sticky. Okay, let's slap it on. Okay, cool. So I'm going to leave that to dry. Um, it's not obviously completely flat. It's got some bumps in it. I'm hoping the top's going to crack. Um, I might just uh, carve a couple of cracks into it just in case, uh, and then we'll just leave it to dry and see what it looks like uh, when it's um, all cured up. Okay, so it's been a couple of days um, and it's dried quite nicely actually, I really like it. Um, so what I've done with this side is I've masked out a rough sort of size, um, or a rough sort of template of how I want it to go. So I'm not going to put it on this side, um, I'm going to put it on this side. Um, I've decided where it's going to go in the on the shelving so I only need to put one side of background on um, and as you can see I've kept it really like really thin to the back um, and it feels solid so we'll see what happens with that but that allows me a lot more space for things like you know filling up with soil and, and um, rocks and decor and just loads more ground space and burrowing space so um, yeah I'm going to do exactly the same as I did on the back on the side now and then we'll peel this off this is just masking tape i think it's car masking tape actually but I'm just going to peel that off uh, once it's uh, once i've put everything there and then uh, and then leave it again to dry for a couple of days Okay, so I've got the uh, the substrate in now, um, which is basically a mix of play sand, uh, a bit of cocoa fibre, peat moss, and the excavator clay. Um, so that should be quite cool. Um, you can sort of, once it's damp, you can sort of make a bit of a burrow. So what I'll probably end up doing is sort of dampening it a bit once I've decorated the, uh, the enclosure. I'll dampen it down and I'll try and let some of that eco-earth drying spots as well um, also the backgrounds come out 
really cool. I'm quite happy with that. It seems solid on the wall. Um, after doing a little bit more research, I may have um, sort of missed a step. So if I could have done it again, I probably would have siliconed a piece of the fiberglass fly mesh that we use for drainage layers onto the back and the side and then use that as a base for the excavator clay to attach to. But this has been drying out now for uh, quite a few weeks and I nothing feels loose and if it does fall off, I'll just remake it. It doesn't matter, does it? So um, yeah, let's get go ahead. I've got some... Um, So I've got a few slate pieces uh, and some other little bits of decoration. We can just start finishing the, uh, the viv off and making it look cool. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that vivarium. Um, we've got the heat mat on the on the side there that's heating at that and uh, providing a hot spot for the uh, for my centipede as well. So all that's left really is to uh, put her in the viv. There you go, girl. So that'll do it for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed it, a nice little build for um, this one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, find me on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, all those kind of things and I'll see you guys in the next video.